Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to install and use Motion Eye OS on the Raspberry Pi. This is a quick, cheap and easy way to make a security camera. You will need a Raspberry Pi, I'm using the Model 4 but you can use earlier versions too, a micro SD card, a way to read the micro SD card on your computer, a USB webcam, a USB-C power cable and an Ethernet cable. First of all, go to your computer and open your web browser to go to this link. It can be found in the description. Scroll and click on the supported devices link. Scroll again until you see your Raspberry Pi model and click on the link next to the latest version text to download the archived image. Extract the archived image somewhere, I will be extracting it to the desktop. Now it's time to flash the image to the micro SD card. You can do this with the Balena Etcher, but you can also use the official Raspberry Pi imager if you'd like. If you want to install Balena Etcher, go to this website and click on the download Etcher button. Then select the version. The first one will be suitable if you're on Windows. Open the downloaded file to install the software. Proceed with the installation instructions until the software is installed and open it. Plug in the micro SD card into the computer. Click the blue flash from file button and select the Motion iOS image. If needed, select the right device and click on flash to begin the flashing process. When the flashing is done, take out the micro SD card and plug it into your Raspberry Pi. Connect the USB webcam. Then plug the Ethernet cable in. Lastly, plug the USB C power cable in to boot up the Raspberry Pi. Wait a few minutes and go back to your computer to open your web browser and go to the internal IP address of the Raspberry Pi. If you don't know the internal IP address yet, you can find it using a free app called Thing on your smartphone. With the app you scan the same network for all devices and you'll see the Raspberry Pi listed with the internal IP address. You should now see the local website of your Motion iOS setup where you can view the webcam. I'll move my fingers in front of the webcam to demonstrate the live stream. If you want to change any settings you have to log in. Do this by clicking the profile icon on the top left. 
The default username is admin and there isn't a password configured so leave the password box empty. Now there is a wrench icon added to the camera where you can change all the settings related to that camera. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and goodbye.